What's up Lightroom Mafia? In this Lightroom tutorial for beginners, you're going to learn how to use split toning to help color grade and improve your landscape photography. We'll be working with a photo that I took in Iceland. So let's get started. The first thing we'll do to improve this image is remove the lens distortion. So we'll go to the optics module and enable lens correction. And already this image looks a little bit better now we're going to go ahead and crop this image. I'll give it a classic 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And I'm going to try and put the horizon on the bottom guide of this rule of thirds crop. So let's see here. Let's see here. I'll just move these corners. And I do need to level this horizon or straighten it a little bit looks a little bit off so I'll go to the straighten slider here that looks a little bit better I'll press enter and now I want to clean up this image a little bit I don't like this foreground or this gravel here so I'll go to the retouch tool which is right here actually and I'll make sure use generative AI is selected and then I'm going to increase the brush and I'm just going to paint over this area here. And hopefully Generative AI does a good job. So I'll click on the Remove button here and it takes a few seconds to process. I don't like what it did at the bottom here. So I'll go to the Variations. This one looks a little bit better. That one doesn't look that good. I'm going to regenerate this. Hopefully it does a better job this time. Yeah, so this looks a lot better. Let me look at variation two. They put water in it. Variation three, not as good. So I think I'll just stick with variation one. And I also want to remove these signs right here or these posts. So I'm just going to brush over here. Click on remove. Okay, that looks good. Now I do see a few dust spots here, so I'll deselect the generative AI and just remove the obvious dust or rain spots. You can also click on visualize spots here, but I just want to get rid of the obvious ones. So that looks a little bit better. Now I'm going to go back to the edit tool and I'm going to zoom in here. What I want to do is reduce the noise. So I'll go to the detail tab and I'm going to remove the luminance noise by increasing this slider here. I'm just going to do it manually. And that looks a little bit better. I do want to sharpen the image, especially these mountains here. So I'm going to increase the sharpening, but I don't want to sharpen the sky. So I'm going to click on the masking slider. And while I click on it, I'm going to press and hold the option or control key so I can see the mask because I don't want to sharpen the sky. So that looks a little bit better. So now I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to look at the before and after. So there is a subtle improvement in the sharpness of the background, especially these mountain areas right here. So that looks good. Now I'm going to go to the light tool and I can see this histogram is a little bit blown out here. Yeah, so you can see the red highlight or the red clipping. So I'm just going to bring this down a little bit just to make it look a little bit better. And already this image looks a lot better. Now to the meat of this tutorial on a split toning. We're going to go to the color section and here we have the color grading. So split toning involves changing the shadows to one color and the highlights to another color. You can also change the midtones if you want. And if we look at the global color wheel here, you can see red has an opposite of cyan, green has an opposite of magenta, just like the RGB channels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to map the shadows to cyan slightly. I don't want to put too much saturation. 
So if I move this circle towards the outer part of this color wheel, it gets too saturated. So I want it a little bit closer to the middle, just like that. It's a little bit tricky to play with. And then I can decrease the luminance a little bit of the shadows. That looks a little bit better. And for the highlights, I'm going to put it to red just slightly, or actually a little bit more than what I did with the cyan and the shadows. That looks good. I don't think I need to darken it or brighten it, so I'll leave it as is with the luminance. So already this image looks pretty good. Let's take a look at the before and after. Now I do want to do a little bit more color grading or adjust this split tone, especially the red part of the sky. I want to bring in another color because the split toning right now, it looks a little bit washed out or faded just due to the softness of the light in the image. So what I'm going to do is go to the masking tool right here and I'm going to add a linear gradient. So I'll create a new mask. I think I have it selected. Yep. And I'm just going to paint in here with the gradient and what I'm doing actually is I'm trying to bring in more light here like it looks like the Sun is shining towards this way so I'm going to just try to bring in some a little bit light here and the color I'm going to bring in a color here so I'm going to bring in the temperature and change it to a little bit yellow so you can already see the color shifting from yellow to red here and let me just decrease this a little bit and I do want to rotate it that looks better okay so this looks a pretty good and one thing I don't like is these corners right here so what I'll do is I'll create another mask I will create a radial gradient and I'm just gonna do it right here here like this and then I'm going to invert it because I want to impact here and here actually this gradient is a little bit too big okay I shall just move it up like this so I can get more of the shadows it looks better now what I'm going to do is I'm going to the light section and I'm going to decrease the shadows a little bit just like that. I'll decrease the exposure slightly and whoops I forgot to invert it. So there's the invert. Let me reset the exposure, increase the shadows. I'll keep it at around minus 12. That looks good. I'll go back to the edit tool, go to the effects panel and decrease the vignette or darken the corners a little bit. So that looks a little bit better now. I'm going to go back to the actual mask here, the radial gradient right here. Go to the light and increase the shadows a little bit more brighten it I mean since I added a little bit of vignette so now that looks good now I do want to add another mask to target this area right here and sharpen it so what I'm going to do is click on create new mask radial gradient I'm going to get the middle of these mountains like that great so what I'm going to do is go to the curve tool just decrease the mid-tones right here. So now you can see there's a little bit more emphasis on the middle. So if I deactivate this point curve, it looks a little bit blown out in the middle, but with the point curve and the radial masking, this middle looks a lot better. And one other thing I can do is with the blue here, I can actually put a little bit more saturation. So if I go back to the first mask here, 
the first radial mask what I can do is go to the color and I could and I could put a little bit more saturation in it just to bring a little bit some of this blue in the sky back so you can see how yellow it is here it's a little bit more blue here in the sky and that looks pretty good so let's see the before and after here's the before and here's the after so we did take a lot of steps to correct this image but we needed to take these steps in order to make the split toning a lot better and just to recap what split toning does is you change the shadows to one color or one hue and you change the highlights to another hue. And hopefully you guys learned something new in this Lightroom CC tutorial. If you have any questions, make sure you leave a comment down below. And as always, live easy, sleep breezy and stay lovely.